I have a recipe that'll feed your family. It's a beef schnitzel with mashed potatoes and green beans. Very simple, but really, really delicious. This is how you make it. You start off with some washed red potatoes, and all you do is pick them up, leave them whole, I've just peeled them, and you stick them into cold water. You stick that pot onto the heat with the lid on it, and once it comes up to the boil, it'll take about 20, 25 minutes, the potatoes will be fully cooked. All right, so it's very, very simple. Once your potatoes are working, the next thing we're gonna do is crumb our schnitzels. And then, I'm gonna show you how to make your own breadcrumbs. Very, very simple. We all end up with a little bit of stale bread or leftover bread. This is what you do with it. Get a few of those slices, stick it into the food processor, You just pulse that for 10, 15 seconds until your bread resembles breadcrumbs. So, we have our breadcrumbs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those straight onto a large plate, a little bit of flour on our first plate. And onto the middle plate, we're gonna use some eggs, but I'm gonna add something to the eggs. So I've got just a couple of eggs, and then to add to that, I'm gonna add a good tablespoon or two of Dijon mustard. Beautiful, beautiful flavour, and it helps the crumbs actually to stick to the, to the beef. So give that a good old whisk. Right, so once you've got those eggs and mustard combined, you just go ahead and pour that onto your last plate. The next thing you do is grab your schnitzels. I'm gonna season them just with a little bit of pepper. Whenever I cook something in a crumb like this, I like to keep the salt to season at the end because I love that sort of salty crust that you get on the end of it. So just with some black pepper, make sure you turn it over and get both sides. I'm just gonna pick that up, pop it straight into the flour, give it a good dust off, and then it goes straight into the egg mixture Pick it up and give it a good drain, and then it goes into your breadcrumbs. Now, the key to not getting too messy when you actually do this is keep one wet hand and one dry hand. This goes in the flour and the breadcrumbs, and this hand just goes in the egg, and that way you won't make a mess. So squash it right down into these soft breadcrumbs, and it's gonna give you a really beautiful coating. Pick it up and shake it off. Right. Okay. Next one. Into the flour, then into the egg, <laughs> then into the breadcrumbs. Right. So you shake all of your crumbs off and then your four schnitzels are ready to cook. What we can do is get just a little bit of oil into a non-stick pan and we're gonna cook our schnitzel Give them just a little shake. You don't want too much of the, uh, the crumb coming off because it could burn. And the idea is you're just gonna do two at a time so then you can turn them over, take them out, sit them on some absorbent paper while you cook the other two and it doesn't take long. So it's not like they're gonna go cold. Now you'll know the schnitzels are ready to turn if you just have a little peek under one of them. If it's golden brown and looking crispy and delicious, it's ready to go. So these are looking pretty good. Let's flip it over. Oh, delicious. So once the schnitzels have been coloured beautiful and golden on both sides, I just remove them from the pan onto some absorbent paper to take off a little bit of that oil. And then in the same pan, we're gonna saute our green beans. And now it's time to check the potatoes. So what you do is you get yourself a fork, stick it right into the center of the biggest potato that you've got, and it should just fall straight off. So look at that, the potato actually broke up. So that means that that one's cooked. Turn it off remove your lid, and then it's time to strain them. Now there's a million ways to make mashed potatoes. I'm gonna show you a really great way. Take your potatoes, and you just go ahead and pour that hot water off, keeping the same pan, because look at all that heat and steam that's still in that pan, we keep that. Remove the potatoes back into that hot pan. Then what we do, is get this potato ricer, and we're literally gonna squash the potatoes straight through the ricer. Now if you don't have one of these, you can use the traditional masher, just with a bit of elbow grease. You go ahead and just force them through. Beautiful. Then, it's time to add a little bit of flavor. Our green beans are getting there. So we take a little bit of milk and a little bit of butter. You basically 
are going to use the milk to control the texture, the butter to control the flavour, and of course a little bit of fresh salt. So fresh sea salt, a knob of butter, and just a little bit of milk. So let's just make sure the green beans are cooked. And the best way to do that is to eat one. <laughs> mm. Perfect. Okay, so you take your sautéed green beans, you're going to pick up a big pile of those with some of these delicious mashed potatoes, and then one of these beautiful crispy beef schnitzels. And I tell you what, you've got a meal that is really fit for a king. <laughs>